Oh no, my Costco LED lantern is starting to strobe. What do I do now? So those of you that may have purchased this Altera LED lantern, also sold by Costco, may have experienced the dreaded LED strobing or failing altogether, just like my light. Doing a quick search on the web, I found this listing on Amazon's website. Although the lantern is unavailable, there are plenty of negative comments that folks have left behind. Many complaining of strobing or blinking LED lights before they just simply fail, some just a couple years after purchase. Complaints of a bad LED driver. So it looks like I'll just need to bring mine down and take it apart. There are already some good videos of, of this light being installed, so I'll just go right ahead to disassembly. With the lantern in front of me, I simply remove the two small Phillips screws to hold the glass. Next, I remove the three small Phillips screws to hold the aluminum disc heatsink. A quick disconnect makes removing the LED assembly easy. Notice that the constant current driver is wired between the main house power and the photo cell. Note the connection of the wires. The neutral or white wires are all connected together while the red wire from the photo cell is directly connected to the black wire from the constant current driver. Removing the wire nuts frees the constant current driver. Here's a close-up of the constant current driver. Now here's a step that you don't need to do. Knowing the values of the constant current driver, I can test that driver with a couple of 120 ohm resistors in parallel. After hooking up the constant current driver, I should be seeing a constant 350 milliamps and around 21 volts. But as you can see, it's swinging wildly back and forth. This is what's causing the strobing. I need to replace or repair this. Oh, major bummer. It looks like after opening the inside of this, it's all encased in this black epoxy. There will be no way to repair this. It's replacement time. So doing a quick search on Amazon, for a 350 milliamp LED driver and then sorting by low to high, I kind of run to a bunch of different miscellaneous versions. And then I came across this Meanwell uh, constant driver, constant current uh, LED driver. And this one happens to have a lot of different available drivers but unfortunately it's, it's typically a six to whatever price plus $5 shipping handling. And for Grins, I went to the, I found the local website and sure enough, there they are from LED Supply. They sell the Meanwell APC series driver. And I was toying with doing the 12 watt, which would be what's matching, um, the current driver we have now or 16 watt uh, to give a little more capability in case for some reason the existing driver was 
underrated. Now, what's important when looking for these drivers is not just the current that this can provide as a constant current, but the range of voltages it can provide. So in this case, the output voltage for the 12350 is 9 to 36 volts. Now, if you remember uh, from the label, it is uh, the output voltage was 18 to 33. So it meets that. So we meet the constant current and we meet the voltage range. This could replace the LED driver that we're looking for. But if we wanted something that was a little bit more robust, here is the APC 1630, I'm sorry, the APC 16350, which is also 350 milliamps constant current because we need that constant current, has a little better range of voltage, still within the margin that we need. Uh, this one's 12 to 48. What we needed was, again, 18 to 33. And it, it can provide up to 16 watts of power. So this one might be a little more, more robust for the needs of this, uh, this particular lantern. And if we choose a 16 watt, you can see it's $6.44. And according to them, it's free first class shipping. Huh, how interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see this is rated IP42. Now, as it turns out, I was able to find the manufacturer of the existing driver. And I guess it's Espen Technology. And I found the exact driver, the VEL120. I'm assuming that's 420 volts. 351. Um, 20H3. And I believe this is a max power of 12. Here's the voltage range of 18 to 33, the output current of 350, and its minimum start temperature, which it claims it's uh, minus 30 degrees Celsius, which I believe is like um, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. Uh, what's important here is, okay, let me go back to, oh, here it is, here it is. The IP rating, the IP rating of this one is IP20. Now, at first I forget what all the little ratings for IP means. And so to look that up, I found the IP rating chart. And what's important is this, it's the ingress protection, which is what, what will, um, what kind of protection it, this equipment provides for um, different types of materials from passing into it. And that could be solids, it could be liquids. And the first one is IP20. So the first letter being two prevents small fingers or similar objects. I'm sorry, it prevents fingers or similar objects from getting into it. It's plastic encased. Obviously, it's going to be fine. Uh, level zero on the second digit is not protected against. It's not affected against any kind of liquid. So even though looking at the cover, it does say drip protection. It's possible that this might have been a custom version, especially for Altair. Now the APC version is. IP47, which prevents most wires and screws, etc., uh, from penetrating it. And um, I'm sorry, it was IP, IP2. So it's dripping water. So it prevents some dripping water from getting into it. So I would imagine uh, the APC mean, uh, mean well current constant current driver would probably be a pretty good fit they have a um, IP 67 version which prevents any kind of water from getting in there it's uh, about nine dollars 99 cents about ten bucks so if you're not
comfortable with that one, you can always go with this one. Lastly, uh, on back at the Espen Technology website, I did find that their LED drivers are supposedly to have a five-year, 60-month uh, driver warranty. So perhaps um, you can contact Espen and uh, see if you can uh, get them to replace your driver free of charge. So I went ahead and purchased the 16 watt constant current driver from LED Supply. Cutting off the ends, I wire nut the old connection onto the new constant current driver. I did a quick test to see how the new constant current driver will look inside the top of the LED lantern. Now, unfortunately, the bolt holes don't match, so I'll have to rig up something. I decided to use some of these uh, mounting ties that I happen to have lying around, and I'll just zip tie this around, and it has a mounting screw hole that I could then mount into the existing hole in the lantern. Looking through my junk screws, I found a M3 eight screw that would fit just fine. I wrapped the zip tie around the constant current driver so that it faced down towards where I wanted to mount it in the lantern. Now here it is all screwed in with the washer and screw and the zip tie and some wire nuts to finish up the job. Since I kept the quick disconnect, it was easy to add back the LED assembly. Add back these three small screws and then the two larger screws, a hole in the glass, and she's all done. So here it is, all assembled and running. Well, I hope this video helps you in your attempt to fix your own LED lantern. Thanks for watching.